was my son's fifth birthday party. My wife and I knew that it was an important birthday. Next year, our little Mikey would go to school, so this was sort of an end of an era. However, shortly after a lot of debating, we decided on a clown for the entertainment. I was against it. I was one of the many people who were afraid of clowns. As a kid, I trembled, shook, and started hyperventilating at the sight of one on television. But our son wasn't. Ever since Laura bought him some sort of computer game starring a clown, he had loved them. As a father, I knew what I had to do in order to make my little boy the happiest. And if that meant ordering a clown, I would order a clown. Besides, I was a grown-up. They didn't scare me anymore. Or so I hoped. The kids were playing in the yard, stuffing their faces with cake and snacks and enjoying the world in the innocent way only little kids can. Laura and I waited for the clown in the living room. He was already 30 minutes late, but you can't expect clowns to be punctual. Finally, he arrived, carrying a large black pink bag. He introduced himself as Bonko, and he sat on our couch. He really was your classic clown. White makeup, colorful puffy costume, big shoes, big red nose, an orange wig, the works. Laura asked him if she could bring him anything. He declined. He sat in our living room for something like 15 minutes, smoking and tapping his shoe on the floor. He seemed nervous, and I could have sworn that I could have seen him drinking out of a flask. Is this your first time? I asked. He chuckled, and without looking at me, said, It always is. I didn't understand what he meant. After finishing his smoke, he put on a happy clown grin, grabbed his bag, and stood up. He gave me a tap on the back, and I thought that it was possible that he had sensed my childhood fear, and he tried to relax me. Bonko went outside and started the show. He juggled, told jokes, sprayed water around, did some classic slapstick. Even I have to admit, he was good, and the kids were just entranced. And now for the big finish! He declared. He took out three colorful boxes from his bag. They look like birthday presents. Pick one, birthday boy! Mikey thought to himself. He looked so cute, like he was pretending to be an adult. Laura snapped a picture. He finally picked the one in the middle. Bonko sighed and grabbed it. Oh boy! Good choice! He said in a cartoony voice, though I swore I could hear some sadness in there. Bonko opened the box, and he took out a knife. Laura and I were in shock, and before we could do anything, Bonko started cutting his own face. Bits of makeup-covered skin fell to the ground. The children were screaming. A little Mikey was covered in the clown's blood and crying. I ran to stop Bonko, but he collapsed to the ground. The paramedics declared him dead. I looked inside the other boxes. In one was a small rifle, and in the other was a can of lighter fluid and a box of matches. All the kids, including our little Mikey, had to go to therapy. We told the police, and they just looked to the floor, ignoring us. I decided that I couldn't let this blow over. I tracked down the company that set us the clown. It was situated in a small two-story building. I expected a run-down, scary old place, but it was quite neat and modern. I marched to the manager's office, not letting anyone stop me. I looked around. In his office were blowing up pictures of clowns with their faces cut off, heads cut off, bullet holes in their foreheads, faces burned off. It was terrible, and every picture had a poor young child crying. The manager was a skinny man in a tie. He looked to be in his late forties, and he had big bulging eyes. 
Why are you doing this? I yelled. He didn't answer. He just laughed in my face. Two big guys came from behind me and dragged me out. I will find someone who will make you pay. I won't be silent. He smiled at me and motioned his goons to hold me in place. Do you love your family? He asked. Of course, I said. That's why I'm here. You made a mistake, sir, he said. Enjoy the rest of your life. It has been 43 days since then. I am still very afraid. You know what the funny part is? Today's actually my birthday, but I'm not going to have any clowns. Just saying.